This is a different Yamaha YZF-R7 from the current one, which is called the OW02 and has higher performance than the current YZF-R7. This motorbike is also made quite rare, namely only 500 units. It seems that this production is only for homologation needs for racing purposes in World Superbike. And in the past this motorbike was also priced at a very expensive price reaching £20,000 sterling. This motorbike was presented by Yamaha in 1999 to try to be able to feel what it's like to be a world champion in a world superbike racing event. Because at that time Yamaha had never felt to be a champion there. Apart from that, Yamaha also sponsors this motorbike for the Suzuki 8 Hours Endurance Race. So the Yamaha R7 was born special namely with a 749 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder DOHC engine, 20 Genesis valves, aka each cylinder has five valves, typical of the old Yamaha Superbike, namely three intake valves and two exhaust valves in each cylinder which will give a mass airflow effect that fills the cylinder faster. At high RPM, the valves and conroads are made of titanium, the pistons are plated with nickel for better resistance to friction. Gasoline supply is sophisticated using an electronic injection system. In 1998 Yamaha also simultaneously produced the 1000 cubic centimeters YZF. R1 Hypersport motorbike which was not yet equipped with electronic fuel injection EFI which was still using a carburetor system. The front and rear suspension uses Olean's, where the front uses upside down 43 mm, and the frame uses aluminum Delta Box 2 which is very rigid, which is even said to be better than the R1S frame at that time. This frame was made based on the geometry of the motorbike in MotoGP at that time, namely the Yamaha YZR500. The rigid Delta Box chassis, which was reduced in length, made the maneuvers of the R7 motorbike agile, fast and easy because of the short wheelbase. This motorbike engine is capable of producing power of 107 horsepower, with a torque of 72.1 Newton meters and if added with a special racing kit which is also provided by Yamaha which has two choices. Namely the first choice of racing kit can increase its power to 135 horsepower, while the second choice of racing kit package can increase its power to 162 horsepower. And it's even crazier when it is used in WSBK races and of course it has received special modifications. By the Yamaha factory team, its power can soar up to 180 horsepower. KM per hour. Yamaha's effort to become a champion in the WSBK event at that time seemed to be going to materialize. Because it had a capable motorbike capital and a fairly experienced racer, namely Noriyuki Haga who came from Japan. This was proven by Haga being able to win first place in four racing series and being able to win 11 podiums. Unfortunately, towards the end of the season, Noriyuki Haga was allegedly using illegal drugs and in the end the Yamaha WSBK team was disbanded, and their hopes of winning the WSBK season failed. Over time, the WSBK regulations changed, where it was required to use a 1000 cubic centimeters capacity engine. Of course this also ended the progress of the Yamaha R7 in WSBK, including in the mass production of Yamaha itself. Because its work at that time was continued by the Yamaha R1. This is with the Yamaha R1 and the racer Ben Spies.